fucking alcoholics. I hate to tell you guys. Bro, that, no more. I'm so fucking done, bro. You think you could realistically go without drinking f forever? For how? Uh, see, I could I? Yeah. Do I want to? No. But yeah. What's the longest you've gone to without drinking? That goes for both of you, alcoholics. Uh, I mean, I can go as long as I want. I've gone. I've gone cap. At least a month. Oh, 100%. Or two, That's bro. fucking cap. No, no, uh, back in like February. You did um, that for six weeks, bro. For six Feb weeks. Like, is like, what? like February, March, April. Like, I drank like one time in, in like ninety days. Or two times in like ninety days. Yeah. It's winter time. I, it's I don't, easy not to drink in the winter time. Yeah, I don't like. Here's the thing: is I, I don't, I don't need to drink. I enjoy drinking and socializing. No, I second. Yeah, that. that's I. I enjoy socializing, being in public. Yeah, that's I like. I like being or in dope venues, going to dope stuff at nice restaurants. That's what I like to do. Yeah, honestly, if I go to dinner and I don't have a drink, I feel like, why did I even come? You know what I mean? It's just weird to me to not. You handle that, bro. You want, you want, no, no, for you you want, you no, want to take no, the I'm phone? Good. I'm good. You're good? Oh, okay. Because um, remember when, when Ken Flores was here and we got like a case and we're getting tequila. I didn't have one beer that day. And then we went out with Gio to the fucking, to meet him up after, remember? Yeah. That shit was depressing. I was like, why, why, like, I have a lot of friends that are for real sober. Yeah. And it like makes oh, me, um, is. go ahead, bro. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Before the Cut. Cut to hip. Yo, we back in this bitch. Yes, sir. That was fucking good. Good, right? Yep. So you That's why I emphasize it, bro. That's why See, I there's there's a, you got to do it from the belly, bro. That's because you don't have belly no more. That's no, why. Bro, there's that the energy. energy. You don't got a be bro. you don't got belly no more, bro. So you, you can't this fucking. Shit, bro. <clears throat> you, got, you just like fucking. You showed us who daddy is, right? Well, now. you know I try. Don't. Hey, hey, let's. Uh, hey, before we get into anything, we we, let's let's talk about the let's talk about the Crocs. Yeah, bro. The homeless. Those aren't Crocs, bro. Those are some first of I just want to say, I I do rock with Crocs. I just don't deal with dirty homeless people looking yeah, crocs. Yeah, them shits. <laughs> them shits. Here's the thing, bro. Damn, bro. That, that these are my. A these these two, these are my. Mean? These are my. I was out doing a lot of shit today, bro. Yeah. Clearly, but, but they, I wasn't they, wearing they these. A lot no, of no, 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 no. I wasn't wearing these. A lot of miles. Chance kicking firecrackers. Bro, yeah, they're bad, bro. They're bad. <laughs> Fucking Forrest Gump, bro. bro. My, we went to go pick up my son, and my girl was like, "You're gonna wear." She's like, "You're gonna wear your crocs." And I was like, "I'm fucking. I'm sorry." Um. See, way to make me feel insecure, bro. Fucking three minutes yeah. into the podcast, You should have just, yeah. like, swapped those out yeah. and had the dirty-ass sharks fucking... No, don't you fucking put yeah. those shits up on my fucking... <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Anyways, what I was saying... I don't remember what the fuck I was saying, but I sent you guys a video, and I was curious if you guys have seen these type of videos, right? It was... It's like a... I'm assuming it's like a bakery in fucking... In Italy somewhere, right? Yeah. No, Fr maybe France. It was Italy. I think Italian, it was Italy, right? yeah. These 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 videos are so popular. So I'm surprised that you guys were like, "What the fuck is this?" Right? Oh it's, no! It's it, you ever seen those before? Yeah, all the time. Oh, okay. I thought you yeah. were like, "What the fuck is this?" No, I just like it's like not something like. I mean, <laughs> I did send it at like noon. On, in the yeah, it was super there. random. <laughs> I was like, "You don't." You always send you always send videos, but there's no explanation behind it. Like you'll send us a random video, and we're like, "Yeah, I don't I don't even get why you sent it." So <laughs> why did you send it? Well, I do that so I don't forget, yeah. but then I forget that I sent those, and you guys yeah. are like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. But I sent them because, bro, those videos to me. Look, I love bread. I love fresh bread. <laughs> See, I knew it was fucking coming. Bro. <laughs> it's fucking bullies, bro. You know it's it's men's mental health. How do I get thrown? It's in? men's You're mental health fuck month. Your mental health. It's men's mental health month. <laughs> And, I, and you guys are making me fucking want to just... Yeah. Do I, how do I keep getting head, grouped in this head, shit, bro? Because it's coming from this side of the room, yeah. bro. <laughs> head, head back to the therapist, bro. Can I fucking finish, bro? So yeah. I see these these things, right? They cut this big-ass piece of bread. Yeah. But the way they slice it, they slice it so aggressively. They're just all yeah. uneven. Yeah. They grab handfuls of meat and fucking cheese, yeah. and they just, boom, here you go. Yeah. And I was like, number one, kind of looks delicious. Yeah. But number two, I don't like being fed something by somebody that looks like they have an attitude. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it just got me thinking, bro. I, you, you guys like barbecue? Yeah. You guys barbecue, you guys? Yeah. I went to this place called Rolling Smoke out here. Have you been there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You been great. there? I didn't think it was great. I went last yesterday, probably like around noon. I'm like, oh, bro, this shit just came out the fucking smoker for 12 hours. I was ready. What when, what when did you go to? I went to the one that's by the pawn shop. Oh, okay. Have you been to that one? Yeah. You know the one what, that's on what, TV? The The... Whatever. What Pong did you stuff. get? Did you get the brisket? Bro, I got brisket. I got fucking burnt ends, yeah, like ribs. Yeah. Nah, bro. But it, like, what I'm burnt saying. Burnt ends are trash. Yeah, they were really bad. But the guy kind of had attitude, and I was just like, this guy already knows this is gonna be good because this guy looks like he just woke up, crusty He's shit. Fucking job. Hey, I'm bro. like, you yeah, want bro. that person with passion? Exactly, bro. Yeah. So I see these videos, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't like. 
like smile when you make my food. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is yeah. that fucked up? That's kind of fucked up to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. But like, like, I, I, something about those type of videos too. Like half of my TikTok is like just food shit, and like I, I think I just like the, the ASMR. You guys like ASMR? Yeah. What? The other half is BB. That's on the podcast one, man. Is this fucking food guy? and sex? Food and sex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I don't know. Do you guys get sucked into those like weird TikTok videos? Yeah. Like, like, like food and shit like that. I don't have TikTok, so no. Yeah. No, but Instagram. Reels, you don't get them on Instagram? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, but not not really food. Yeah. So I a I get video. a. <laughs> yeah, I actually get a lot. I get a lot of like. Um, well, it's it's all basically like restaurants pages, but yeah, like yeah. that's a that's a whole like marketing tactic of like these restaurants these days is like filming like all like their over the top dishes, pouring stuff, making stuff, yeah. the juices, the sauces. Yeah, the, I take it back. I do get I do get a lot of like, that shit. Um, do you follow foodies from like here? Vegas? <clears throat> no. I get tons of people who will send me videos from like restaurants here in vegas like oh this this place looks so good like mm, yeah, so. there's um that's actually that's how actually i came across um this pizza spot what is it uh signora no uh, oh, signora uh good pie good pie oh, have you guys been to it in the art no, district I heard it's fucking really isn't good. that yeah. evil pie so no, so good pie, pie oh. good pie is another one now so that's downtown uh, I, someone actually sent me this video it was it was good pie it's like these like square like square thick crust like pepperoni pizza oh. um but when essentially the pizza is done coming out of the oven, they take like a big scoops of like marinara sauce and throw like marinara to- sauce on top of the cooked pizza and then put more cheese on top of it. So it's like videos, videos like that um, go crazy on Instagram because everyone loves fucking yeah. food. And when food looks hella fucking good, like, um, yeah, food, cheese. food videos cheese, are, are cheese. going viral all Whatever, the time, bro. That's the best part of any fucking videos when you yeah, fucking yeah, talk about the cheese bro. bowl, bro. It's like the cheese, the melting, the sauces, <laughs> yeah. the gooey shit. Like, yeah. you know, it's like... That's the thing too, bro. Vegas has a lot of good food. And there's a lot of yeah. like people that dedicate their entire, I guess, maybe their life, right? Yeah. Creating content of just local spots here. Yeah. And, um, bro, I went to this place, Pizza Rock. You been there? Yeah. They I, And I tried that type of pizza. Honestly, bro, that's the word. It's shitty. I mean, like, what are we doing? Yeah, it's fucking yeah. So it's I garlic like bread with rock. sauce, bro. Yeah, I don't like pizza rock. I feel like they're slices are fire though, bro. I don't know. You think so? No. Have you ever been to Evil Pie? I just took them over to yeah. fucking Evil I Pie, think, bro. I don't. Uh, Evil Pie is fire. It's on yeah. uh, Fremont East. Yeah, it's. I mean, here's here's the thing with pizza. There there's so many different styles, and mm-hmm. like like Good Pie, for example. Yeah. Like low key, like. I, I felt like a fucking idiot. I had to like Google what some of these types of pizzas yeah, like fucking Detroit were. Style and shit. Yeah, like yeah. there's like um, Boston. Right? Yeah, yeah. There's, Boston, I mean, Boston, there's like yeah. everyone yeah. knows, like you know, you know, like like you know, New York is obviously like the bigger slices, thinner crust. Um, Detroit, Chicago. Detroit, and then there's like a lot of, um, I, I don't know, fucking different Italian style. Obviously, yeah. pizza. Those like Sicilian pizza. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck is this, bro? Yeah, but yeah, I did the same shit. Yeah, is it Sicilian? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, that's how I know it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Which favorite pizza? Pizza, New York. like pizza style, New York. Yeah, yeah. Like how I like went, thin thin like where like you can lift I up and see the light through it. I, I love folding yeah. my fucking pizza. Yeah. So you like tacos? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. uh, So like when we went to Evil Pie, like I pretty much will eat any pizza, but like my big thing is like load it up with fucking meat. So I, I'm always that guy. Yeah, that you I, like a lot like, of meat. I look for like all the meats, and then I'll even like sometimes add some more meats, um, and then I also like having spice on there. So I always throw like jalapenos. Ooh, I'm a cheese girl, bro. Just cheese. A cheese girl? Yeah, just like you know, cheese. A guy? Like, cheese like guy? Cheese. No? I like cheese. You know? gotta, be a, gotta be a girl? I like, okay. che- I like pepperoni. <laughs> Fair enough. Cheese, you know? <laughs> you call it me a girl, but you just said you want all the meat, bro. You tripping. Yeah, I fucking love meat. <laughs> gotta get that protein in, baby. Any yeah, way, I don't know. Do like possible. <clears throat> I, I don't know. I think New York style is stupid, bro. Sounds like fucking a fucking stupid. Chicago asshole. No, but here's baby. the thing, bro. Contra- Chicago deep contrary dish. to popular belief, so, so, I don't so even really like Chicago deep dish like that. I do, I do, I do. Oh, I shit. do. But here's the thing, bro. Like, oh, I think people think that like that's the only type of pizza you can get in Chicago. Yeah. You know, I like I like, you know, New York style. Yeah, I get you. A bro. little bit thicker than that, but not puffy. Yeah. Does that make sense? Not really considering New York style is not really puffy at the all. Ed, the edge. Oh, no, I guess. You know what I'm talking about? When the crust is like poofy. I don't like that shit. Yeah. Hmm. I don't right. like that. Yeah. Shit. Sometimes it's like too much. Hey, bro. Yeah. I like a real nice soft crust, like a fucking. No the crispy garlic bread. I mean, yeah, Ooh, yeah, yeah garlic like, bread, bro. Like a garlic bread type yeah. of crust. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? 
So if, if uh, so, we're we're talking about all like fancy like kind of pizzas. If you have to order just like I call it like mainstream pizza, uh, Pizza Hut, Domino's, Papa John's. What were you doing? Little Caesars. Little Caesars. Fuck Dude, I Little agree, bro. Yo, Little, Fuck Caesar. Little Caesars. Caesar. Okay, okay. Max. Dude, bro. you know what's funny is is like I I had Little Caesar pizza not too long ago, and all it all it reminded me of was like back in college. Was like you know the five dollar fucking yep. uh, you know hot ready thing. babies hot and ready baby five dollar hot and ready's dollar fifty dollar fifty crazy breads. I, oh, I ran into a whore for the bread, bread bro. Yeah, yeah. I probably, oh. dude, I probably didn't have like Little Caesars for like six or seven years, mm -hmm. and I've, I've had it a few times over the last few like fire. I, I'd say in the last year, fire. Oh, delicious, bro. That's delicious. what I'm saying. I feel it's like the, most people it's sleep the best on it because cheap, of the yes, price. Yes, it's bro. because it's of the, the price. They cheap, think it's shitty. It's the best cheap pizza, hands down, yeah. the best, dude. I, yeah. I remember the time that they brought that shit to my little town, bro. Yeah, right, like. Cause they like the, pizza, you know, pizza. they just start building yeah. shit, and I was like, "Lo, see, what the fuck is that?" And then right away, everybody's like, "Nah, it's trash." And then yeah. like my dad, my dad's cheap as a motherfucker. Oh yeah. So yeah. he'll get like, he's like, "Oh yeah, he's twenty five bucks. Get all of the pizzas they have." I'm like, "For sure, right?" <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> buy that location. <laughs> <my God. laughs> he's like, "Bro, my twenty five bucks. I just pay half yeah. the rent for that motherfucker." Bro. Yeah. So, but I'm like, bro, <laughs> delicious, bro. But like, I'm not gonna lie. When I would go to people's houses and they would have that, I'm like, oh, I give them a little side eye. I'm like, mm. yeah, you cheap fucks. Zero I know, taste. but that's what I'm saying. All right, so but I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys. The shit, though, yeah, bro. I'm gonna tell you right now. You gotta try my shit. They just brought it back. I don't know how long it's gonna be there, but right now they got a fucking pretzel crust going on. Oh, with the cheese? Yes, dog. Uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get so fucking breaked up right fire, now, dude. Dog. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's that, and I get their uh, their thin crust. A lot of people don't like fuck with their thin crust. Their, like thin, their thin crust, crust is insane. I'm telling yeah? you, yeah, dude. I uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with some they little seeds, yeah, bro. Dude, but you know who else right. is kind of slept on? No, Papa John's. You ever had that, dude? Yeah. I, I I had Papa John's a couple weeks ago. I like the garlic yeah. shit they have. Yeah, that that yeah, might yeah, just win it for me. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. little seeds got that nacho cheese, bro. I dip know, the crust in that motherfucking hot. Bro, can you tell us my day one of like the most strict diet I've ever been on, bro? I'm starving. Oh yeah, I go pick up a fucking pizza right now though. Fuck yeah. that thing, dude, 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 you're gonna <laughs> starting over tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's a new day. The yeah. sun comes up tomorrow. <laughs> Guarantee this guy's gonna get a little Caesars after this. Oh, I wouldn't. Blame Is it one by you? Oh yeah. No, don't tell me, bro. Oh yeah, don't oh, tell me. I'm a weak man. I got on fucking speed dial. I'm a weak man. I got on speed. Honestly, you should order a little Caesar right now. So by the time we're done filming this, we See? have little Caesars here. And then I'll just eat it in front of you. Yeah, so I'll fuck it. But yeah. get the cheese though. Get the little yes. cheese, jalapeno cheese. Yo, yes. What's your guys' stance on pretzels? You guys like pretzels? Yeah. Like Auntie Anne's. Yeah. Oh yeah, or like yeah. that type of shit. Yeah. The only They're good, but I don't. It would really. never be like a food of my choice. It's always like because it's like convenient, or it's like the only thing around. Regular ones or the ones in with with, with weenie in the. Well, inside? so so that's what. Oh no no no. So well, when <laughs> that I think little, of, when that I little think weenie reminds you of something, doesn't when it? When I think of auntie ants, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> uh, when I think of auntie ants, I think of their cinnamon sugar pretzel, right? which is I think is is the best one they got. But anyway. Mm. But when I go to like a bar, I like those nice fucking Bavarian fucking pretzels with the beer cheese. That shit's fire. See, I would never do that. No? No, no. Oh, fuck. Bro, because it just you know reminds me of like just getting in trouble at school. Where it's just like, I don't know. It's like a punishment to eat just a dry pretzel. Yeah. It, it's not a dry pretzel. You got beer cheese. I just said that. I like beer cheese, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do like beer welcome, cheese. Welcome back. I like the shit with the weenies in the inside, though. I'm fucking those up. Those, like, <laughs> those, those are sausage. nasty. Those 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 are you don't like those? Nasty. Bro, they just, they're, they're, they're like. You talking about the pigs yeah. in the blanket? Yeah. And like at, at, at the Arnie Ann's or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yo, I remember I used to watch them fucking roll and make the dough. I was like, dude, I. <laughs> I just mixed some chewy sitting at bro, the I'm window. Bro, I'm sitting there like, that's the coolest job ever, dude. Because they twist them like all effortlessly. I'm like, yeah, I want to do that shit when I grow up, dude. And they're like, yo, this guy's yeah. watching us together. Yeah. Bro, it's a glass thing. What the fuck yeah. do you want me to do? Yeah. I couldn't wait till they Most, bring out the little dude. cutter. Most most young kids are out riding their bicycle, <laughs> playing with some fucking teenage mutant ninja turtles. I don't know, Sit fucking, the window, fucking, fucking out the end. playing playing sports. <laughs> He's fucking. Chewie spends oh, all his time at, at yeah, fucking uh, on Annie's drinking Mountain Dew and eating fucking mini corn dog pretzels. Which cheese, bro? Which cheese? Oh, good for you, dog. Yeah. Oh man. You, man. You didn't go to the, that. That was like our thing to do when we were like younger. That's kind of I going mean, back to like explains <laughs> a lot about you, homie. No, but what, what else are you supposed to do when you're like in middle school yeah. and shit? But here's the thing, bro. We never had a mall. You didn't have a mall. It's a close lot, mall was a two lot and a half of hours. Off. Fuck that, bro. <laughs> yeah. For real? So how you get close? Was it really two hours? <laughs> yeah, dude. We, we only Fuck. bought clothes a couple times a year. <laughs> wow. Fuck yeah. that. Bro, dude. He was just chilling with some cows. Bro, all what day, were y'all doing yeah. before Amazon, bro? 
Dude, we we didn't order nothing. Everything it would take weeks to get there. Yeah, you couldn't. Just you just like what you, you had is what you had, bro. That was it. Yard and fucking <laughs> yeah, <pray start>. the <laughs> knitting <laughs> shirts, fucking <laughs> kumbaya. Jesus, bro. Yeah, bro. I needed a new shirt. I had to tell my fucking grandma to fucking Quilt crochet, that shit. crochet me one. <laughs> Dude, said, that is crazy. She said, Grandma, get out some fucking yarn. <laughs> fucking need it. I need Put a Nike Swiss in there, Ma. Right? Come on. Yeah. I, I need a sweater. I had my That's own. That's kind of fire, though. I only had. I had my own Nike boot camp just right there. <laughs> I have a fucking sweatshop in yeah. your grandma's house, bro. Mm-hmm. My grandma's just sitting there like this. That shit's fucking dude. Fun, that's funny. Uh, yeah, dude. I remember I used to know this chick where she would work at like one of the little frozen yogurt places. And like, you know, we'd go, but like, you know how they charge you by ounce? You been a Froyo and shit? I fucking yeah. love Froyo. Bro, she would change it to pound. So I'd get like a fucking <laughs> crazy fucking thing. And it would be like three cents. All the toppings, Everything. bro. Everything. Gown. Everything. Gown. Everything. Yeah. Just me and my girl. I'm like, shorty, I got this. Don't even worry about yeah, it. And then she would look me up. It's like 78 cents. I'm like, for sure. Yeah. See? He, I'll change your filthy yeah, animals. Yeah, I was like, go ahead. It's like a buck <laughs> So a lot of time spent at Froyo. A lot of spent time spent at uh, Aunt Annie's. Bro. I see. <laughs> I mean, Froyo's and, fire, dog. And then, and then for dinner. Undefeated. So he had Aunt, Aunt Annie's for a little snack. <laughs> and then he had. <laughs> to hold me then, over, And then bro. he had he had Froyo for another snack. <laughs> a fucking and then, pound of and Froyo. Then, <laughs> <laughs> and then on the way home, it was a little C's for dinner. Oh. Oh my god! What a life! Hey, but now I'm trying to un, 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 undo yeah. my fucking. Yeah. What, what am I trying to say? I don't know. Yeah, fucking. Trying to be skinny. Rough. Now. Trying to be skinny now, bro. Yeah. You ain't trying shit, bro. You're accomplishing. Yeah. It's right. Yeah, yeah. It's right. But sometimes I'm like, yo, fuck that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yo, speaking of being healthy and shit, I saw something. I want to hear you guys' opinion. Are you guys avid cannabis users? No. Um. I, I I would say I smoke a handful of nights a week, like before bed. For real? Yeah, like I I'll didn't know that either. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'll um. I've offered like, you weed before, and you've said no. I'll smoke um because I, I don't I don't really socially you don't like it. I don't um if I'm drinking if I'm drinking, really yeah. oh fuck cross that was my yeah. favorite thing to do bro yeah really yeah, yeah. so I like my my sleeping sucks a lot of times me too so um I will I will smoke before bed to help me sleep. Um, sometimes like if I'm like just chilling on a Sunday, like watching football, like not going anywhere. Um, but yeah, I mean, for the most part, it's just pretty much to sleep or just to like relax and mellow the fuck out like on a Sunday or something. Dude, that's fire. Yeah. yeah I haven't, fair. well, the reason why I asked is because like, <clears throat> there's always been studies coming out where like, you know, it just, it's, it's, it's so new and it's been studied for such a little bit of time that they're yeah. like, Oh, it's like, nothing's wrong with it. It's healthy. Blah, blah, blah. Well, it just got published, bro. That yeah. um, cannabis is like, like what am I saying? Cannabis, like my fucking grandma, bro. Yeah. That like weed is linked to like like heart heart disease, and it's like the that. number one factor. Yeah, yeah. To to um, like doing that one hundred percent causes heart disease. Like that was published. That was really yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Which is kind of not surprising, bro, because of, like what? the way that you do it is is a smoke. I'm, I think yeah. it was just a smoke, and when that enters your body, constricts your veins. You constrict your veins, and you have Fair. fatty. Okay. You have fatty arteries. Like, of course, it's gonna happen. You know yeah. What I, mean? mm. I just, th- I just think it's like one of those things that I, I don't know if you guys remember, but I just remember people being like, "No, dude, it's fucking. It's a medicine. It's plants, right. and this and that." And like, don't be wrong. I used to love weed, bro. Like when, when we first met, I was smoking yeah. every night to go to sleep yeah. to drink. That, bro, that was my favorite thing to do. I used to get these like the specific strain, 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 strain. Um. That I knew, like, if bro, if I'm like four or five beers in, I can hit this four or five, six times and then be good. And then I have a few more beers. Like, I just like fucking yeah. figured it out to a science and it was like my favorite thing to do. But I'm coming up on a year, no weed, bro. I really? never liked it. No? Never liked it. I And I wish I did because it's at least lower yeah. calorie, you know what I mean? And yeah. like, you see yeah. people who love it, who smoke all day, and I'm like, I, yeah. I just get weird, bro. Like every once <laughs> in a while. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah. Well, like every once in a while, I'll do it to like like try and go to sleep because like it's supposed to help you, but it doesn't really help me. Now I'm just fucking laying in the bed thinking of why the universe works and fucking. <laughs> yeah. Like it's, it's just weird for me. And like socially, yeah. <clears throat> will not do it at all because like you guys know me. If I'm out and about, I'm fucking talking to everyone, having a good time. Yeah. Once I smoke, I'm just fucking in my own head thinking about yeah. why the universe yeah. works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah I, I got to be careful with that because like I get the same way. Like if I smoke too much, I'll just get like. Like super fucking quiet. So um, if it is something, like I will only smoke. Um, I was getting confused. Uh, indi- uh, sativa. I, um, sativa. Yeah. yeah. So I'll either out. do like um, a hybrid or a 
Sativa, right? Yeah. yeah. But see, but both of them kind of like, do the same the, shit. No, no, no. Indica is the one where you're chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Indica is the chill. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's saying to Oh, so you like Sativa? Up. I prefer uh, sativa. Yeah, I because, I, shit. because I mean, if I'm going to smoke when I'm out, I don't yeah. want to be fucking oh, yeah, yeah. tired yeah. and fucking lethargic. You know, yeah. <laughs> Bro, I remember sativa would give me like, dude, working in Chicago, dude, like it was a beautiful shop. Like we had to go in there, shirt, tie, like tailored everything. Right. But after eight o'clock, this shop was sponsored by Hennessy. That was fucking pounds. I mean, allegedly, right. Pounds of weed in the shop. Like, yeah, it was whatever. Right. After and during, if you liked it, whatever. Dude, I we used to just fucking just roll like these fat fucking joints, bro, and just drink all the time. But I would, that's what, what it was. I was leaving the shop one of those days when I realized I'm like, I can't do sativa, bro. Like, I just felt like I thought I was gonna seizure, bro. <laughs> like, I just felt this pressure yeah. behind my eyes, bro. Like, my eyes are gonna be flung out of my head. Yeah. And it was just like a doom, doom, yeah. doom. And it was like, it, it gave me so much anxiety, bro. Yeah. But like, Indica would do the exact same thing. I hit it, and if, if, if nobody's talking to me in five minutes, I'm asleep. Mm. You know? I don't know. I kind of wish I was, like, able to do, like, you, you want to, like, try heroin or anything? No. No? <laughs> what? How I'm did, kidding, bro. How did you just say that? So Yo, you guys ever fuck with psychedelics, bro? I, 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 I tried shrooms once. How was that? Well... So I, I like I, I feel like I'm not the best person to give the example because like I I had got some right from a buddy. I was like, yo, yeah, I'm just kind of curious to try it, you know. You I it by yourself? Yeah, yeah. So here's the story. So I'm here at the house, um, fucking just by myself, and I I have this bag now. He gets me like an eighth, and I don't really like know anything about it, right? Never That's a lot, bro. Never done anything before, and so I didn't I didn't even fucking eat the whole eighth or anything. I was like you know what, let me just kind of have a couple and, you know, maybe like, maybe it's like microdosing. But apparently there's no, like, you're either tripping or you're not. Like, yeah. and, and if you eat a cap, you're going to trip. And so I didn't realize that. So I ate a cap, you know, I put it like on a fucking Subway sandwich. And next thing you know, I'm, I'm chilling in my pool by myself. Just fucking clouds are talking to me. <laughs> no way. <laughs> You you got you you saw you saw like you saw shit. Well, like the clouds, like patterns. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like everything in the clouds. It, it just became like the webbed. geometrical shape of shit. And then and like yeah, you kind of feel like an energy. So it's not necessarily like it's like hey Lucas, but yeah. it's like you like you feel like you're connected to it. Yeah, and you didn't like it. It's not that I didn't like it. It was just like I wasn't fucking ready for it. And and by the way, that shit gets you sick. So I end up throwing up my fucking yeah. sandwich. And yeah, I was hungry, yeah. you know what I mean? But I'm just sitting here fucking, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking with a blanket on and shit. That's, <laughs> that's like, uh, I have the, the the biggest thing is is like, you you have to be in like the right element. You got to be right. like in the right like space, like the mental space. You, you, you also you also need to be around. Uh, you also need to be like around like the right people as well, right? Because like I've I've seen I've seen people, bro, have like crazy like bad trips and like what do you mean what do you mean what do you mean just, yeah, just like want to hear this shit though well no i mean it's just like the typical shit like just as you said like like super bang like and his um super bad anxiety like freaking out just like worrying about like everything start thinking all fucking crazy you get in your head about certain things uh yeah just you know yeah. people think they're dying like just like weird shit like that dude i was always scared of doing that shit bro because i i like knew people that legit had psychotic breaks and like to this day are still like fucked up yeah you know not, uh, yeah. but like i remember this this story i, I heard the story recently i won't say who it was but like he was saying that like he he took i, I want to say maybe an eighth he's like in a hotel room with like his friends and then he starts to get this thought of like yo like you're worthless like you're stupid like you should just fucking kill yourself and then it was like, the guy started freaking out and he was like, you know what? I got to call the police. And then he's like, wait, but if I call the police, this isn't real. Like I'm in my head. And if I call the police, that's like an easy way out. So that means in real life, if I call the police, that's like me shooting myself in the face. Like he was having this thought. And then yeah. he had this thought of like, dude, like all those crackheads, like that's what I, I'm never going to get out of this. Like he yeah. was so in it, bro. And he was just yeah. like, I'm never going to be able to get out of this. That's just yeah. going to be me. Like, that's it. He's yeah. like, I'm not even real. Like, this is a thought, but it's also yeah. real. Like, bro, I, I was sitting there and I was having it. Bro, I thought I was having a bad trip listening to this motherfucker. Yeah. But I don't know. I've always been scared though, but I, I've always had a curiosity, like, especially yeah. about like out of body shit, bro. Like, like DMT to me is like the most fascinating thing. I've talked to people who've had like, you know, where they're like, yeah, bro. Like I basically just met the center of the universe. Right. Yeah. 
Oh, that just sounds kind of cool. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I'm such a pussy, though. But I, I'm not. I, like, I feel like I like I like being in control of my life a little bit too much. I think that's why I don't yeah. really fuck with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. It, Would I, you want to know how it really works, though? Because they always say like that thing will like, well, basically, you see how, you know, how everything really works. But do you know that that's really how everything works, or are you just fucking frying on some weird chemical? <laughs> like, well, that's I think, my I think here's, yeah. here's my thing. I think when the you hear different stories of people having similar <coughs> speaking to a similar being entity and then what they get is similar and the different people who don't know each other. Yeah, I think, I mean, but that's what I'm saying. I mean, I don't know. Right. It's, but it's a faith. That's all that is. What right. Do you mean? Well, that's, that's essentially a faith. Like you're trusting that everyone's story is fucking yeah. genuine and it, it, it is all connected. Right. You have, you have faith that that's, that's what's going on. Whereas I'm just, I'm just not sure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I had a friend though in college, man. And this is, we, we can fucking stop talking about this shit after. But uh, he he was like the the biggest little pothead. He was like this fucking. He was my roommate in my dorm. Small kid, loved fucking weed. But he was the guy. Every time he smoked, he's fucking. He's like, uh, dude, I'm dying. I'm dying. Called the cops on himself <laughs> no. every fucking time, bro. <laughs> it's like, oh my god! Like every fucking day, this motherfucker is freaking out, thinking he's yeah. dying. <laughs> Bro, you're just looking at him like, bro, you're, you're fine. Bro, Andrew, chill, dog. Shout out yeah. Andrew, homie. Yeah. <laughs> chill the <Yeah>. fuck out. <laughs> that's so funny. Dude, that's wild. What else you guys got? Um, I got one. Um, okay. Getting out of this drug shit. I don't know. I'll probably just cut it and then go from there. Yeah, <laughs> Yo, I saw this story, bro. And we've talked. I've talked about my fucking fear of water. You like cruises. Do you like cruises? I actually never been on one, dude. No, so I need to. I just yeah. did that first one, bro. Yeah. Highly recommended. It. it was so, especially you, your personality, yeah. Doug. Yeah. Open bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, you'll fucking yeah. crush. I'll fucking flourish in that. That's fine. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. I yeah. felt, I felt like fucking. It didn't it go perfect. crazy though. Like the fucking boat wasn't like doing no weird shit. No. 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 I mean, I mean, like there was one. I want to say maybe one night, like the first night, you, like you almost get used to it because you're laying in bed, especially after been fucking pounding drinks, yeah. and you feel it sloshing a dude, little that, bit. Dude, there's nothing worse than bed spins. Yeah, I know. I haven't had bad. bed spins in a long time, but I remember getting those in college. Like, oh shit. But I'm telling you right now, Ev, with your fucking personality, <laughs> yeah. bro, it's it's like a party, pretty yeah. much fucking as long as you want. But then there's all kinds of different activities. I mean, there's like fucking. There was the comedy room. There's like nightclub. Yeah. There's dive bar. There's fucking yeah. everything, bro. And so yeah. we're just really? jumping around, yeah. going all these different fucking things, getting fucking hammered with yeah. the, your friends, yeah. the people you meet. It was a great fuck, and then the best part: you wake up, and now you're in fucking Mexico or some yeah, shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like it's just that so is dope, dude. That's pretty cool. It was a good experience. Um, we should all bring that up, bro. Is because let me read this headline to you, bro. That there's a this is not the Titanic, by the way. This is sunken ship has been discovered with an estimate of twenty billion worth of treasure aboard. What the fuck? Yes. So. So we going? Well, that's the thing. Vlog. <laughs> that's the thing. Like, <clears throat> well, let me restart the game. I don't know where I'm going with that shit. Was, <laughs> he doesn't even have a fucking way to, to segue this in. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Is the fucking boozy hanging out again? What? Just making sure your dick's not yeah, hanging out. You got out, that moose knuckle fucking no, shining fucking for the camera. Like pussy? Sure. God damn it, bro. What? It's been 25 minutes in, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> I don't know. It just got me thinking, bro. Your wife will edit that out. I know, right? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> fucking, she'll make it black. Um, it just got me thinking, bro. <laughs> if you knew that at the bottom of the ocean that you can get to with scuba diving, or, you know, whatever, there was a possibility to get there. You, you going? No. You didn't try? Nope. You wouldn't try for $20 no. billion, bro? Nope. Well, realistically, how much are you gonna be able to bring up, right? You can probably just grab two handful of yeah. Gold that's what I'm saying. Like I'll say that. Like uh, what was that fucking ship that just went down that fucking killed the billionaire and fucking oh the fucking uh, submarine. submarine. Yeah, what was yeah. the company? Um, the fucking <laughs> dead dead fuck. company. <laughs> yeah, bro. Fucking <laughs> Oracle. <laughs> no. Anyway, but uh, so I, I think of like that type of shit. Like, is it worth it? Like, was it worth it for anyone to go, like, just to flex to say you've been down to fucking to see the Titanic? See, and, like, that's stupid. They went for nothing. That's I mean, what I mean. I'm talking about you can get some bread. Uh, no. Nope. nope. I mean, I'd be down if we were on a ship 
and we had those robot things like in fucking Titanic that we can drive and fucking yeah. and it comes yeah. up with the fucking heart of the ocean and shit and I'm fucking rocking that shit out at the club tomorrow bro, I'm imagine, in bro they probably got some drip on there bro I yeah. saw this scary fucking thing this morning dude it was um, what's the shit when you're like it looks like you're on a surfboard and you're like you have a stick it's a paddleboard. Paddleboard. Paddleboard, yeah. bro. These guys were bad. <laughs> bro, I'm not so it's like it's like a surfboard, no, but, but you paddle it, with it. I thought it, it was uh, I thought <laughs> something else, paddleboard. Bro. What at that shit, bro? I saw these guys. Bro, fuck you, bro. <laughs> I saw these guys, bro. They, I don't know where they were at, but they were in the middle of fucking nowhere. There's these motherfuckers paddleboarding, bro, and then like these sharks start to like circle them, dude. Fuck that. And like they're you can like they were like able to sit down, like they weren't like attached to the shit. But, oh, dude, oh, fuck. Just fucking kill me, bro. I'm just going to go out what and you do? You can try to hit I'm the shit? I'm just going to get. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, of course. White as fuck. But I don't know, dude. Like, there's really nothing. I mean, this is make me sound shallow, bro. There's really nothing I wouldn't do for some money, bro. Some really? serious money? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, serious. So, money. but why aren't you out there? You just heard about this report. Well, dude, many you guys, get, no, get I'm asking you guys if you guys, guys want to fucking go. You guys want to fucking go? No. No? No. Because I'm definitely not fucking. Yeah, I guess I didn't think about it. Like, how, how are we going to bring it up? That's what I mean. How are you going to get down there? <laughs> just bring you a can get down there. You just bring a backpack. A couple backpacks, you know? <laughs> yeah. oh, but gold is heavy, bro. Yeah. Bro, just call <laughs> Yo, a could fucking Could you imagine Chewy down there stuffing some backpacks, <laughs> trying to swim up? <laughs> no, you can't. attach a balloon, and then it fucking goes up, bro. See? Oh, oh you see? attach a balloon. <laughs> see? <laughs> bro, you watch to so many cartoons. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, well, that's, I mean. Yeah. You know. Oh, what the fuck is up with this episode? Who lives in a pineapple under yeah. the sea? Yeah. Yeah. This episode's the fucking worst again. <laughs> Can you guys fucking throw some shit there, though? I'm what gonna, do you mean, bro? I, thought I don't was... know. Fucking help me, nigga. I'm, I I'm, saying, some, <laughs> I'm saying some dumbass shit over here, bro. <laughs> All right, so I know you guys aren't huge uh, sports guys, but um, I, I, I watch a fair amount of sports, and obviously living here in Vegas, uh, you, you hear a lot about the Raiders. Did uh, do you, you guys see what's going on in the in the world of Las Vegas Raiders right now? We just won against the Giants. Yes, we did. Yes, that's, we did. That's all I know. We we also so we I beat went the to, fuck out of the Bears. I'll tell you that. So let me just explain this. Uh, <clears throat> yesterday we beat the I think the worst team in the NFL, aka the Giants. Yeah. Let me tell you, bro. That stadium, the field club I was at. They were celebrating like we won the fucking Super Bowl. <laughs> like, bro, I swear to God, it was like a celebration last night. Yeah, that's dope. Um, so, yeah, it's, it was a crazy week for the Raiders. So, Mark Davis, the owner, he, he's been getting a ton of shit for um, keeping Josh McDaniels, who was the head coach last year and up until this previous game this year. Everyone's been saying, "Fire uh, Mark Davis, please help us, please help us, fire Josh McDaniels. So finally, fired Josh McDaniels last week. Um, they fired their GM last week, and they, they told Jimmy G, who uh, used to be for 49ers quarterback, now the Raiders quarterback, he was supposed to be the you know our our star quarterback bringing Messiah. you know yeah, yeah. bringing in you know the savior to help the fucking Raiders benched his ass. So we got a rookie quarterback started yesterday. We have uh, his name's Antonio Pierce. Actually, used to play for the Giants, uh, starting as the Raiders' head coach. Um, I, I think he was like a he was like he was like a, um, fuck. I I don't know. He, he wasn't. Um, He's like the special teams coach or running back coach or some shit. I I don't even honestly know. But uh, Antonio Pierce, bro, this guy's a fucking. This guy's a savage, bro. So uh, he's just, it's a complete, like, it just, it's so funny how much the Raiders changed in, like, literally, like, a week period. Like, Josh McDaniels was, like, this square white dude quarter um, fucking coach. Like, jo um, Antonio Pierce, he grew up in Compton. So mm -hmm. he had an interview last week, and he's like, I'm from Compton, California. He's like, I've been a Raider. I was born a Raider. I grew up wearing the same Raiders hat that NWA wore. Like, literally just That's like, fire. bro, That's fire. he's bringing this, like, it's fucking dope, bro. Yeah. It's like, it's he's bringing, like, a really cool, like, vibe and energy. Um, and obviously, there was such a drastic change as well. Like, 
when shit like that goes down, you really need someone to come up that's like got some energy, bro, and right. like really got that like I don't give a fuck. We're gonna get through this. We're about to crush it. So yeah, I never uh, understood that though about like like why the teams would fire coaches because like the team is doing bad. Like, bro, I'm not the one out there throwing the fucking ball. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I, for real, I, I'm not a big sports guy at all. Yeah, but that's yeah. one thing that I've seen like just through the Bears, like especially when shit happens like this mid season. Yeah. Look, I get it. Like, you want to put some yeah. fear into Because in my mind, it's like, a, bro, if we fired three motherfuckers, like, the guy's playing, like, yo, get your shit together because you're next, you know? Yeah. But I never understood that shit. Yeah. It, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's because the, the, the head coach is literally, like, his hand is in every cookie jar. Right. He's in every cookie well, jar. And isn't involved. he the one also picking, like, the fucking yeah. players and yeah, shit? Like, so exactly. he's fucking up. Somewhere. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, there but, was... Yo, I didn't I, drop the ball that this motherfucker threw. But you picked the guy who dropped that. the fucking ball. Yeah. You I mean, picked the guy who fumbled. There's, 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 a, there's a lot that goes yeah. into it. There's, there's, there's play but calling. Tell the nigga to catch the ball. There's, there's play calling. There's being involved in certain aspects of the game. Making, yeah, like, what calling. decisions you're making um, on whether, you know, starting someone, benching someone. Uh, there's just, yeah, there's, there's a lot involved. So Yeah. 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 But Vegas sports always been kind of good. Well, now they're good, right? Like, yeah. right? except yeah. like, well, eight. fucking dude, Vegas. Golden Knights are killing. Yeah, them. Golden Knights fucking won the Stanley Cup last year. Um, the, the, Aces. A- the Aces back oh, yeah, to back that's right. Aces, just won yeah. back to back. Do we care um, though? Say what? Do we care though? Uh, I mean, I mean, good for Vegas, right? Yeah, it's good. It's, yeah. a, it's a win for Vegas. Did you but, see the parade? It was I their did. bus and four cars out there, bro. I'm just saying. Really? <laughs> yeah. I swear to God. Yeah. I, uh, I'm excited, man. Like, I'm just kidding. I want to go to like, a game. Las, uh, like Las Vegas like sports is about to be fucking nuts here, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Um, NBA, NBA team, I think, coming officially 2025, 2026. No, baseball. Um, and then baseball coming in. Oakland A's, I, right? I think uh, yeah. it's going to yeah. take, I think, 2027. Is when the baseball kick off here. Well, and now with F one, I mean, just this place yeah. is going nuts, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? Like entertainment <laughs> capital. Yeah. 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 But you don't think it's kind of fucked up that like the people that live here, the people that like everything's kind of really expensive, bro. Yeah. For like the average person that lives here, right. you know what I mean. And I honestly, I haven't met yeah. a lot of people that live here that have gone to even a concert. Yeah. Or like a. Anything like a, like a like yep. the sphere like that's like everybody's yeah. like oh no I'm not paying for that or whatever I'm yeah. just like it's number one is like look everybody has their own financial situations but yep. it, I mean it kind of is a lot dude you know what I mean, I mean uh, baseball I games are probably gonna be like, crazy bro Raiders any, tickets cheap as fuck is like four fifty oh no it's it's stupid expensive so I, I guess it, here's my thing and I'm not like, complaining I go anyways. yeah no like I mean you got to remember too like our economy is probably the worst it's been in what. 15 years you wouldn't know by all this fucking the shit yeah. that people are spending money on though yeah no but that but that's that's the one thing no matter how shitty the economy is no how no matter how broke people are people will always have money for entertainment yeah. you know it's the only um, thing stupid, keeping us yeah. you know I mean, yeah. but it just yeah. it's uh vegas is such a weird city I was, I was talking to someone at the raiders game the raiders like this is their home stadium but it's not really their home stadium if you go to a Raiders game and you look at the crowd, like I'm telling you, majority of the time, bro, it is at least 50-50, um, you know, Raiders fans or other Others, teams. Yeah. Um, and sometimes, bro, it, it's even more. Like you get some big games, like uh, Chiefs are coming later here in uh, um, November. Massive, massive amount of Chiefs fans. I guarantee you'll be filled in that well, stadium. Yeah, but that's the thing about it being Vegas. It's yeah. already such a yeah. tourist destination. Yeah. Everyone wants an excuse to go yeah. to Vegas, and now they get to watch yeah. the sporting event too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I, think, and I that's, think that's more. Yeah. And that's why that Vegas can get away with charging more expensive right. for all this shit. Right. Yeah. If, if you look at it, like like it was like um, it was the uh, the Steelers game a couple of weeks ago. It was um, Dude. well the, the Steelers game. It's like, yo, the Raiders are probably one of like the worst teams in the NFL. The Steelers are nothing fucking special either. It was the most expensive game in out of all NFL games that Sunday. Really? Yeah. Why? Like, wow. you know, it's like two trash ass teams. But once again, it's it's because Vegas, 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 Vegas knows how. Yeah, Vegas baby. Yeah. Steelers fans are notorious for traveling. Everyone knows that a Steeler mm. fan is a diehard traveler. 
So Vegas is like, oh, we're going to have a fuckload of Pittsburgh fans in here. Let's jack up the fucking price of the mm-hmm. tickets. We're going to get people to pay. Dude, I was at, uh, at, at Dim Tai that, that Sunday. That's how I knew that the fucking Steelers were here because the second you, you, you know, you're in valet, bro. Yeah. You, you walk in and it's all steel. I'm like, oh, I think yeah. the Steelers play today. You yeah. know what I mean? You just keep walking and it's just yeah, it's completely full. Steel. But yeah, if like, yeah, it's crazy. If Ghetto Vegas, motherfuckers if Vegas too, didn't have the That's attraction. Love that shit, Raiders fucking guy. If Vegas didn't have the attraction of the strip, there's no way they could get away with this shit because average people. Like, like I think what the median income in in Las Vegas is like sixty two thousand or yeah, something. It's not a lot, dude. Sixty two k. You cannot afford to pay four hundred dollars to go to a fucking Raiders game. Um, we I actually went to the Sphere on on Thursday. That's right. We, dude. we had. Bring, um, yeah, let me. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring that up. Um, we got tickets about a month out, so ours were only fifty five bucks. We got them like retail off like Ticketmaster. Fire. Um, so our tickets were were cheap. But I mean everything, dude. Like even the even the Golden Knights, fucking tickets are expensive as fuck. Like you can go to a hockey game, bro, in fucking San Jose for like like twenty five dollars. Yeah, right. dude, in Chicago, it's 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 it's, it's like less than a hundred sometimes. But yeah, because they you know they're they're just an iconic team. Like they've won before, but <laughs> well, back to back also. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's like not that so. big of a deal. Like go like I don't know maybe just because like growing up in Chicago, dude. Like going to like a Sox game, it's like it's like a. Like there's no thinking. It's like yo, like are you off yeah. today? You want to go? It was like cool because it's like it's not. You can yeah. take a train there. Yeah. It's fucking fifty bucks a ticket, yeah. maybe plus food or yeah. whatever. Like you're like, oh, it's cool. Yeah. Here it's like, damn, we gotta fucking save up some money. Yeah, yeah, you, know you gotta mean? fucking commit. Yeah. <laughs> yo, you went to the 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 sphere, bro. Yes. How was that? Yeah, sphere was great, man. Honestly, worth uh, worth every penny. Um, although I seen ticket prices are pretty out of control. Um, we did get tickets for pretty cheap. They were like fifty five dollars, but uh, the sphere was great, man. So uh, well, for people who don't know, t- explain to them what yeah, that shit is. Yeah, so sphere is essentially this, looks like a fucking sphere. <laughs> uh, looks like a sphere. It's, it's layered with lights on the outside. It's layered with lights on the inside. It's just, it's this incredible um, cinema, uh, IMAX, uh, like concert venue, essentially. Um, you walk in, you walk in, there's a, a pre, it's like a pre-show experience. So the show started at 1030, uh, doors opened at 910. So an hour and 20 minutes before, you get to kind of check out the, the pre-show um, experiences. What the pre-show experience is, there's little stuff like, you know, photo booths and stuff like that. But the, the best part is they have robots. What do you mean? So, so there's, um, there's like two, I think two or three AI robots um, that are basically on display and you literally can go up and talk to them. So like there was people- They're walking around? Uh, no, they were like, I'm um, just like standing there. On but Netflix. oh, so fuck. they were, they were basically sad. standing there. There was one of the attendants um, from the sphere who worked there kind of like, you know, making sure everything like went fine. Fucking with it. <laughs> yeah. But like you could just straight up like you, you could walk up to it and just like obviously take videos, listen to what it was saying. And then there was a separate line where you could go and like ask, ask the AI a question. And there was people like, Yo, going in on fucking questions like asking about like you know what's the future of AI? Are robots gonna take over the world? And it it, it, it was hella funny, dude, because having a robot tell you that robots are gonna take over the world, it's like what? Right. It was like, responding like that. Yes, dude, and like oh, that's crazy. So, yeah. so I thought it was I thought we it was run this shit, bitches. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I thought it was like pre-programmed with obviously <laughs> some shit, but no, dude, it's it's full blown like on the spot. Like there was a guy. Um, there was a guy, a guy asking about like, you know, you know, where do, where do you see our economy, you know, in the next couple of years? Um, you know, what do you think about our, our current, um, uh, you know, you know, current, you know, president situation, like talking about politics, all sorts of shit. It was cool, man. It was, it was honestly yeah. really cool. So you check out the robots. There's, you know, a couple of different booths around you can go to just like, you know, some interactive shit. And then uh, the venue itself, dude, is, is super cool. So it... There, there's right now U2. Um, U2 is, uh, they have residents there basically. So oh, you, so, damn, I didn't know that. So, for so, like two years, yeah. Yeah, so U2 is Good doing. for U2. What yeah. the fuck? They bring that bunch yeah. of a crowd in? Uh, yeah. Dude, they so, got paid a bag. I yeah. bet, but to, that's what to, I'm saying. Wow, yeah. I didn't realize they were So that they're popular. doing, U2 is doing shows like so many days a week. And then I think, I don't know, so many other days a week, they have this like, this like IMAX AI like 
fucking sphere experience show that goes from 1030 to 1130. So it's like, um, it literally just looks like an IMAX screen, basically, like, like a big movie theater screen. But it's and all then, over you, isn't it? Well, it, it starts off as just an IMAX screen. Mm -hmm. So like when you first, when I first went, I was like, hold on. Is like, this is, it? is this like, a movie theater? it's just going to be a, like a movie theater? Yeah. So you, you sit there and it starts off the first couple minutes. Everything was like just playing on like that, like, I, you know, big, large movie theater looking screen. So it's playing there and then it starts going through like the show and all of a sudden it just like grows over like you. grows and then everything is like fucking like coming, like, like coming at you, dude. Yeah, it's dope. And, um, what the, what the show was, it was, um, it so was, it was like basically through the world. Yeah. It's, um, it was called, uh, a post, uh, I think, I think the name of the show is called a postcard to earth. And it talks about like the evolution of like the world. And it started off with like, you know, um, water and insects and animals and dinosaurs and plants. And then it involves like, it, it's the world evolves into like, obviously what it is today. Um, but did that and, in an hour and it, it That's takes fire. you bro. It takes you through like all these different elements. So at one point, like when they're talking about like the ocean and like the animals in the ocean, it's just like you feel like you're literally in like a fucking ocean. Um, I got some videos. I'll, Dude, I'll I saw this part you. about like the like the elephant. Dude, I, like, bro, I, the videos look. I haven't been, but I, I want to get some. Time. Yeah, but I'll, I'll send you some videos. So yes, I can. Put so there was like the there was like some safari shit where they were doing like. There was like some like rhinos and some giraffes and shit. Um, my favorite was like the elephant. It was like an elephant was like walking towards you and like his like trunk was like fucking swinging, bro. And like it li literally was like, yo, I'm about to get smoked in the face <laughs> with a fucking <laughs> elephant tusk, you know? Um, That's fine. Yeah, yeah, we was, should go. Yeah, it, it was cool. honestly really cool, man. Like I I did not expect that. I was like... My my boy wanted to go. I'm just like, yeah, I'll go to it. Um, but it was it was a cool experience. And, and so that was the main show, right? That yes, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, so I don't I don't know right now if they're doing like if there's multiple different types of shows. All I know right now, it's basically you two and this like postcard to Earth one. Yeah, yeah, because that's gonna be interesting, man. Like I saw that, because um, I think the idea was that like artists can just add that to part of their tour, like yeah. another arena. Yeah, but because of how just different it is and how interactive it's like yep. they need to make a show specifically for that yeah and it just costs too much money too much time yeah so i think that which i think is even cooler when there's certain shows you can only see there mm -hmm. yeah you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah so that'd be no i mean cool. it was and the the venue itself bro like super big um there was like you know multiple multiple bars easy to, they had they had food there they had like, uh, a, they, had like a, they had um i didn't eat I didn't eat, but they had like um, they had like a burger joint. I seen that people were getting like burgers, nachos, shit like that, candy, and then they had um, like a concession stand, yeah, basically. Type. Yeah, yeah. Con Yo, nachos are the best thing for like a show or like a movie. Yeah. Do you fuck with nachos? <laughs> I like nachos, but I yeah. mean, uh, like a football, like a football game, you don't get nachos. I don't. I mean, I feel like those are cheap nachos. Like I like a fucking nice yeah, yeah. plate of nachos. Yeah. Like what? Like what? What shit. are your favorite toppings on nachos? brisket jalapeno see it's too much bro it's too much yeah. it's too rich then why do you ask fucking i just questions, need, bro? No, i just want to know your yeah. shitty nacho no i just want to tell you, you, tell you that you're what you like chips. is shit that's okay, what i'm okay. i want to um i want to go to uh i don't really want to i don't care to go to youtube but when there's a cool concert there we should definitely go <laughs> yeah yeah it's a dope experience like bruno mars yeah yep I, I like, i'll go i want to i want to see <laughs> you ask the robot what their favorite kind of pizza is because I know you really like pizza. I do like pizza. I don't eat pizza, I like dumbass. Nachos. I don't imagine. <laughs> um, but did you want to contribute anything to the podcast today? Or no? Chilling, bro. Cool. You want to bring I'm, nothing I'm, up? Man, I'm just like, I'm enjoying the show. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, yo, you been in Gordon Ramsay Burger? Yeah. You, been, you got the one that has like the brisket and all that shit on it? Mm -hmm. Did you like it? Yeah. That was cool. You know what they have the best, though, is their fucking milkshakes, bro. They're fire. Not a big milkshake guy. Uh, I Yo, you bro, like their? I fucking love milkshakes. Yeah, really? <laughs> Yo, a solid dude, a chocolate milkshake. Oh dude, my no, god. No, so they're yeah. Well, if you like chocolate, that's one thing. But so I got their uh, like cookies and cream one. But there's uh, like there's custard in it, bro, and it's fucking thick. Yeah. Yes, bro. It's nice, dog. Yo, I like I like shakes that I need a spoon, bro. Yeah, that's that's this. You yeah, know, I want that fucking. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you know what you, I had the other day? It was uh. Fr Freddy's? Have you had that out here? Freddy's? Freddy's frozen custard? Oh, yeah. I'm, it's like a burger thing, but I've it also has that. 
Yeah. Oh, it's good. Fire. It was good. so good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, not a big milkshake guy. Damn. Sorry, bro. We can't. What's your favorite bread? kind of ice cream? My favorite kind of ice cream? Yeah. Damn, bro. Like gelato ice cream, all that shit. Like number one. Oh, shit. Well, give me I, top three. Top three. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because I always pick those little kid flavors, dog. I go straight for like the birthday cake. The oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I love that, I love that shit. shit, too. Dude, yeah. I like the rainbow. You ever had that one? Yeah. yeah. The rainbow. Oh, bro. You guys go to Coastal and ever? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. My, um, I'm a, I'm a big, like, chocolate and peanut butter guy. Like, oh. I fucking love peanut butter. I could just get a fucking thing of peanut butter and just eat that shit out the jar. Yeah. Um, but yeah, any peanut butter and chocolate flavored ice cream, like, yo, that's my shit. You just fuck with mint? mint. Yeah. Yeah, mint, mint's good on occasion. But I love mint Oreo, dude. I wouldn't like like I could oh. I could go do like chocolate peanut butter like every time, but I, I couldn't do, I, I couldn't do mint every time. Like mint's That's like a mint's like a flavor you get like every blue moon. I feel. See what's interesting though is we all have our thing. Like if you you're more of like a Reese's type, yeah, cake, yeah. right. You're you're more of a fucking. I like cookies and cream, or yeah, if it's I, ice I cream, like yeah. But but you know what I like more, dude, is like like uh, like. I like, like cookie dough or or birthday cake chunks. Oh, I like I need dough. the chunks, bro. Dude, you ever had like a Ferrero Rocher ice cream that oh, has that? Yeah, dude? Oh, bro. Have that you? Shit. No, dude, dude, that shit is that so. Shit bro, is I, I don't even know what you said. For those little fucking those like. <laughs> I thought, I thought you said Ferrari or no, something. No, for the how, yeah, is that how you say him? I don't know, but I knew what you were fucking talking about. It's Ferrari or Cher. Ferrari or Cher. I heard it. Yeah, I'm like, what? you having a stroke, my guy? Like, it's, <laughs> it's like the little, the like little, yeah, those I don't little crunchy fucking, know, fucking chocolate balls. Oh, okay. You they're know, like gold. Yeah. They have like a gold wrapper. Yeah. yeah. I've had ice cream. Like, it's uh, like a wafer yeah, or some yeah, shit. They're fucking delicious, bro. Yeah. We'll play. Shout out to y'all. Um, but I like um. You guys make fun. I like Mexican ice cream that's made with water, not milk. Wait, what? What? What is that? And why is there water instead of milk? What? Because it's on? like it's it's uh like lime flavored. It's oh, like gelato oh, yeah. almost or mango. Yeah, but it's yeah. like it's not. Yeah, that shit's milky. delicious. You know what I mean, yeah, I like that coconut, shit. Coconut. I like the strawberry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like uh, pist- sometimes they have pistachio. Oh, pistachios firing. Um, yeah. shit like that. But yeah, I, like I a hundred percent rather have that. But it's not. That's not ice cream though. That's a popsicle. But yeah, ice but cream, sometimes they make it ice into cream a, needs like cream. So when you said like it's fucking and water shit. instead yeah. of fucking yeah. milk, that's not an ice cream anymore. That's but it's more water. refreshing, bro. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but it's like a popsicle. <laughs> well, I think my standard. I like I like uh, cookies and cream, like Oreo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but like it, it, not ice cream. Yo, uh-huh. you ever seen those fancy ice cream places that where it's like the colors look? I don't know if it's gelato, but it's like shiny and just it looks wet. You seen that shit? <laughs> like <laughs> sherbet? Yeah. Is that what it is? <laughs> I don't know. It just looks like sexy. Yeah, that's like yeah. It's a, it's like more like the bougie like Italian gelato and ice. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Is, is, is it milk? It, it, no, it's like fucking. It's like popsicle. <laughs> oh, so yeah, it's probably love fire. It. it just looks wet and fucking. <laughs> Bright and I'm like, wow, what? this shit is fucking good. Getting excited. You know, maybe bro. when we go to the strip, we can take him and like we can put him in front of some of these short uh, these shops and he can just window fucking yeah, stare. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the ice cream being made and, wet. and the pretzels getting rolled. Oh bro, I'll stop what I'm doing to see some lady roll some pretzels, bro. <laughs> For real. Boys, anything else? Fucking. No, put put <laughs> all these people out of their misery. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys sat through this. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.